Hello, I'm David Wormsey. I'm calling this Easy WordPress Traffic Statistics for free. And what we're doing in this video is taking a look at what's freely available as plugins on the WordPress repository to take your complex Google Analytics information and place this in an easy to read format in your WordPress dashboard. And there are a number of very similar plugins that will allow you to do that. And what I'm gonna do is concentrate a little bit more on the one that we've been using for just over two years, which we're pretty happy with. It's one of the newer ones, if you like, a newer upstart, so it's trying to compare with some bigger players out there. It's called Analytify, not the best of names. And this is their pro page because when it comes to these kind of plugins, most of them are running a freemium model where on the repository, they give away something pretty sizable and usable. And then you can upgrade to other pro features. And we're actually doing that when it comes to Analytify. We're actually using their WooCommerce add-on and some extra add-on that gives better reports reporting to clients. But I'm not going to touch on that in this video. Maybe I'll do another video on it. I just want to level things out in terms of what's available in the free version. So let's just take a look at here. So even though it's one of the newer and lesser known ones here, it's got a fair number of active installs. It's got 70,000 at the moment. The ratings are pretty good on it, but they actually confuse me because the lower ratings seem to be complaining about something I've not experienced, which is that there's too much of upselling to the pro, a little bit spammy in that way. And in actual fact, that's kind of the reason why I choose this one over the others, because it seems less of that. So I hope to show you that as I'm going through this. Let me just quickly show you what you get on the free version. So all of these are pretty easy to install. Let me just go over to the settings here. There's using authentication section, we've got that there, where you can just log into your Google account, go to Google Analytics and pick your website and then that's it. And what we get on Analytify here is this main dashboard. Now there is, let me just go over to their sales page, this section here with live statistics and this chart, which is just on the top here, is actually showing as grayed out initially when you install this, but you could dismiss it. So there is a little bit of an upsell initially there, but you can dismiss this. And what's here is pretty useful, I think. It's very similar for all the other plugins, so I won't go into too much detail, but what you've got is general statistics here of sessions, visitors, page views, average time on site, bounce rates, uh, page sessions, new sessions, new and returning visitors, and device types, so whether the tablets, mobiles, or desktops. This is quite useful to me, which is the top page views, and you can scroll along to see more of these. Now, this is where I think Analytify go for competing. It gives you a little bit more information than I've seen on the others. Most of them just give you the views when it comes to the top pages. Here you've got the average time and bounce rates against these. Most of them will have some kind of geographic um, representation. This is pretty nicely done, I think. Most will show you the kind of system stats, who's coming in on what devices. And the next thing here is how people find you. Not so useful. Most people are logged into a Google account where keywords are protected, but if they're not, then you might find out what keywords we use to find your site here. And we've got the usual stuff on referrals from social media and other top referrals. And again, another thing which I've not seen on others, at least in their free version, this is the key thing because others will have stuff in their pro, but here they're giving away this kind of information about what happens on your site, the entrances and the exits. And that's kind of new information. Let me just show you what happens in the individual pages and posts. Now you can in the settings not have this show, but this is what you've got. Some cut down statistics that are relevant to that particular page or post. And also you can display the statistics on your main dashboard by adding in another free plugin that they've got over here like this. And just this year, or 2020, as I'm recording this, they added in a report. So you can get a report sent to an email of your choice from an email of your choice. And there is a little bit of upsell on this. And because of this, and you can't brand it, you need to get the pro version to get better emails sent where you can style them. But it's a pretty useful thing to have and nothing I've seen in the others. So that's pretty much it. But in terms of the complaint about the upgrading stuff, I've not seen this. I've not got emails or something from them. There's only this little section over here. And maybe when it comes to the email setting, again, you've got a little reminder that you can upgrade there. But that's 
pretty much it. So, and they have got this thing here, which where you can compare the pro and the free for the upselling. So there is that. Okay, so that's a kind of quick tour of what you get with Analytify. Let's have a look at the competition. I wanted to talk about what else is out there. Now, I'm always reluctant to do comparisons and say which is the best because I think it's pretty divisive most of the time. But I, there is probably a lot to say on this. So the top player out there is Monster Insights. It used to be Google Analytics dashboard plugin for WordPress. It was created originally by Yoast of uh, Yoast SEO or WordPress SEO plugin fame. And it was bought by Sai Balki, who has WP Beginners blog, the most popular, most visited blog on WordPress out there, who also runs Awesome Motive, which is a company which has bought it's also sold some plugins some of the biggest plugins out there and they've created some of those as well so this has been around a long time it's very popular let's just go over to their entry on the repository so here it is you can spot their plugins because they kind of rebrand them with this kind of uh, stuff so if you like that then that's good i'm not such a big fan but you know this is a big player um saeed balki is I mean, you only need to Google him and see him talking. He is a growth hacker. He's a much more businessman. But what you can say about him is that he would generally work with very good developers. So you would tend to, if their focus is on that product, it's probably going to be of very good quality. That's something you can rely on. But also, as I'll talk about as well, it's it's business for them so they will buy and sell um as well plugins so you might not be with the same company that's kind of what i found i've been on both ends of uh, owning a plugin that's uh, been bought by them and also that's been sold on as well okay so they've uh, you know two plus million here pretty good ratings been around a long time pretty stable as far as i know let me just show you this so i've got it set up over here so this is what it looks like now the experience of installing this is different it's very much it's nice but it's an upsell to the pro as you're going to set it up definitely um and you do get although i've just dismissed it there was a little upgrade to pro when you go in there on the top there which i was able to dismiss but again there is a section here which you can't i don't think dismiss and that's there all of the time so it's a little bit more sales and you particularly recognize this as you go through the tabs here because everything here you can't have unless you get the pro so it's a kind of an up upsell for it you know that's fine if that doesn't bother you then this is pretty good so as i say here's the statistics it looks pretty nice um and as i say it's kind of slimmed down in terms of the information here similar information but there's less it's just the views here with the top pages over here when you go in to the pages unlike with Analytify, and I think this may go back to the Yoast SEO days because you've got this stuff here, um, which you can add in, which helps you to set up your headlines for your posts and um, and kind of score your content as well to kind of make it SEO ready. So for me, this is not something I would particularly want in my analytics plugin. This is something I'd want in an SEO plugin. And also just recently added is a way that you can in your posts put in um, you can kind of boost readership by putting in some of the other articles. So when somebody's read your article, you encourage them to see more. But again, this is something which is another plugin when I've needed to use that. So it's kind of an odd mixture that you get there. And, you know, as far as I can see, you're not getting the statistics that you would on the individual post that you were with Analytify, which leans me more towards Analytify. OK, so I think that's a quick overview of that. Let me move on to the next big player which is now called exact metrics it used to be a google analytics dashboard that dashboard gad wp it was and it was popular and it had a lot of features in the free version and was a real rival to monster insights but recently it got bought out by saeed balki again um so they now own both of these let me just go over to their entry on the repository now this had quite an impact on things here this was a popular plugin mostly with five star ratings and then what happened is to bring it in line with the other uh, plugin that they own um they removed a load of features and that always upsets people so it kind of doubled up the one stars almost overnight with this one so 
Um, but let me just show you something interesting about this is, um, you know, maybe a lot of people upset with this wouldn't know who was owning it because it's not kind of officially listed as far as I can see as um, awesome motive as one of their products. So many would probably just go to Monster Insights. But in fact, it is pretty much the same. Well, it is the same plugin as far as I can see. Let me just go over. So here we are with Monster Insights. Just have a take a look down there. And if I go into exact metrics, it's the same. It's the same developer looking after it. It runs in exactly the same way. It's the same onboarding that I went through. As far as I can see, it's the same. If you go into the post, you get the same SEO stuff that you had. So that's really where it is. And I think probably it's worth mentioning something on this. It's the fact that this company, um, Awesome Motive, they really, if you like, almost dominate the news. So if you're, if you're someone who's going to do a Google search to find the best plugin, analytics plugin, you're going to end up probably seeing their other big plugins because they put our articles on their pages, which are, uh, you know, the powerful companies in their own right. So they do quite well in search. So what you're going to see is amongst the what appears from, say, Optin Monster, also owned by them, to be an independent look at what's out there. It's not really. It says Monster uh, Insights is hands down the best and and says maybe exact metrics is another one and then on this one they monster insights having looked at all of them it's the same that's wp forms also owned by them they recently bought seed prod and again after carefully analyzing guess what it's monster insights and again uh, the best one out there on monster insights on wp beginners this is the same people dominating the research on there. So uh, probably what that tells you is if you do like either of these two, probably go with Monster Insights because that's the one that they're picking, even though they seem exactly the same. So I just really wanted to mention that a little, maybe a little bit controversial on that. Okay, so let me just talk about the next player here, a completely different approach, but can't be ignored. And that's Google Sidekick, which uh, really only in this year has come out of beta or beta. Um, I say beta usually. And uh, let's just take a look there. So this is a little different because this is by Google themselves. And obviously it's doing quite well in quite a short time because it's Google, you know. But having said that, not long after it went on here, they had a serious security issue and people got the sites hacked. So it's not got the best star ratings on that basis. But it is very different approach. If you're someone who's looking for something to bring in all of their other tools like Search Console with analytics, you use AdSense for monetizing, say, a blog, you rely on page speed insights, you do tag managing, or you want to use optimize for A-B testing, then this is probably the thing to be looking at if you're not keen on your statistics. But in terms of the basic um, Google statistics, the analytics, it's very, there's very little there, to be honest. It's really about connecting up to the other accounts, which I haven't done with the search console on this one. So it's definitely one look at, worth looking at. And there are some other players out there. Let's just have a look at this. We've got share this, haven't tried this one. Um, I think their site seems to have disappeared. I looked at that yesterday. There's 10 webs. Um, not a company I particularly connect with. They've got one over there. And we got, of course, if you're using Jetpack, you might want to see if what's already in the free version of Jetpack is good enough for you because they've got their own stats in there. So you could turn that on. So if you've got Jetpack, you might want to look at, at that first. And finally, I just want to mention this, which is not the same, but I just like Jeff Starr because he's always been around talking good sense in WordPress. And he has something, it doesn't really display the statistics in a way that you want, but it does connect you up to your Google Analytics account. Okay, so that's really the competition. Let me just go on, and I've probably mentioned most of these. Why Analytify? Well, for us, it's been reliable since we've been using it, which I'm reminding myself here is October 2018. I like the free email reports. I think there's less promotion on the paid plans, and clients seem to have preferred it over Monster Insights for what they have. Some of them, though, have got the pro versions, so it's hard to judge this. What I have noticed is... Um, there's less 
less cost if you need to upgrade with Analytify because obviously it's trying to compete with the bigger players. But this is an arguable point because of the type of nature of um, also motive company that always running some kind of campaign unique to you, tempting you to buy their products. They're very much marketing company who do it very well so you may find that at different points you're going to it's going to be very difficult to sort of balance that out but i think in the long term as you're paying ongoing subscriptions then you're going to be better off with analytify and you know i've actually got a life deal on some of the stuff so that's why we use it i like the fact that there's the extra content the exit and entrance content which i showed you that there's um that more information as well on the popular pages and also there's a whole other bunch of things which are in the settings which you can set up which would be in the pro versions of monster insights or exact metrics things like scroll depth and not page uh, not found pages and things like that and ajax errors all these kind of things would be in the pro version they've been added into analytify so it, for me it wins on those kind of levels now there is one big caveat for me on this one and that is that with analytify you can only show the main statistics if you're to an admin so if you've given clients an a different role say an editor they're only going to be able to access the information that you see on those individual pages and posts they won't get this overview so that's one of the the major downsides and that's not true if you go to monster insights um or exact metrics you know because they want to encourage people probably your clients to go and buy their stuff because it's very tempting information that they have to do that so i don't know if analytify made the the right choice in doing this you would need to upgrade to be able to get that pro stuff there so that's one thing against it for me it hasn't worked so i've gone you know it's fine a lot of the people we're giving admin rights to who are interested in this so that issue hasn't come up but it's a uh, probably one downside against it probably the biggest one um and of course if you like the seo features that you saw with the others oh i should just quickly mention that also the same is true with sitekit by google it, i don't think you can see that if you're an admin you can only see it if you're an administrator okay so yes again the other things that come with monster insights those um extras that you can put for promoting certain posts or the seo features that's not available um there's Something I've noticed that there tends to be more upgrades, updates, if you like, to the plugin on the others rather than Analytify, which seems to be a bit slower. It's a bit slower on some of the pro. And, and I think it just can be arguable two ways. You can either look at this as something where they don't have the resources to put into updating as much, or the fact that probably with a plugin like this, how much updating does it need? So is it a good sign? So I just sort of noticed it. Um, and of course, why not? Because I've got very limited use with it. I am using the pro version. I am using some other things. But when it comes to some of these advanced techniques, I've not tested them out to see if they're OK. I've literally it's been doing the job that we've needed. And that's all I know. I'm not an expert on all of the other things that you might want to set up. So you might find um, there are some little flaws or bugs that I didn't find. And the other thing is, of course, when, you know, However much I don't particularly like the kind of approach, if you like, the marketing approach of some of the big players that are out there. And, you know, you know that they probably, as long as they don't sell it off, <laughs> um, that they're probably going to be able to look after stuff where a small company like WP Brigade, who's behind this, um, they've sold lifetime deals as well. So it makes it harder for them to make a profit. You wonder how much time they will have for something like this. But they are long standing and they do, you know, from what I seem, seem pretty genuine and serious about what they do as well. So I don't really suspect it will disappear. And that's why I choose it. And I think that's all I've really got to say on this. So I'm just going to say thank you for spending your time here. I'd be immensely grateful if you took the time to share this content because I can't really uh, pass it around very much and uh, like the video or even subscribe to the channel if this is your kind of content. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye bye.